Hi, welcome to this video today, uh, which is all about Richard Dennis from the True Legendary Traders. We're going to be discussing the turtle trading experiment, its general philosophy of trading, and also uh, how to overcome a major problem that uh, most traders run into into the market, which is yeah, how to deal with false breakouts. First of all, on the turtle trading experiment, um, it's probably one of the most motivational trading stories of all time. Uh, Richard Dennis took a group of people who never traded before, taught them a trading strategy in two weeks, gave them some money to trade, and they made uh, $300 million. Um, truly inspirational story. And it proved that anyone could learn to trade the markets and anyone could win regardless of their educational background. And it also um, is very illuminating in what it takes to achieve trading success. And you know, it shows you don't actually have to work hard. You only need a simple system to trade the markets, okay? Simple systems have always worked best, but the real key is having the emotional discipline to follow uh, the strategy. And all the turtles said this was the hard bit, you know, they were losing 70% of their trades. They had to keep, keep keeping their losses small and waiting for those big trends to come around to cover them. Of course, they all did it because they had confidence in the system. But, you know, emotional discipline is the real key to trading success. And most traders are unprepared um, for, you know, the actual sort of dealing with uncertainty in the markets and having to follow a plan. And they follow other people and so forth and they end up losing. You actually have to have confidence in what you're doing to trade with disciplines. You always need to learn a strategy and you know, believe in the logic to trade it with discipline. So always do your research when you come into trading. Now, in terms of um, general philosophy of Richard Dennis, yeah, he did say in his interview with Jack Schwager and Market Wizards, um, it's very true. Um, individual trades are insignificant. Uh, you have no idea if they're going to be profits or losses. There's no better trade set up. You are playing an odd statistics game. If you're looking for trends, you know, you are going to take losers. Um, you know, all you have to do is keep them small. Individual trades don't matter. So never get frustrated when you have a losing period. In a free market, you're always going to have big trends and they are going to cover your losses. Dennis made the, the point also in the interview with Schwager that 95% of his you know, profits came from just 5% of his trades. So you don't actually need a lot of winners when you're following you know, trends to, to or, or big trends to actually cover a large amount of losing trades. So you know, a lot of people you get, get fixated on trading accuracy. You know? They see all this nonsense, you win 90% of your trades or 80% of your trades online and believe it. It's not true. At best, you're going to win 50% yeah, of your trades. You know, and you, trend followers will actually only win about 30% of their trades. That is why emotional discipline is so important. Now, one of the major problems today for traders is false breakouts. Now, if you took the turtle trading rules today and tried to trade them, you'd find they were not anywhere near as effective as they were when they were released, simply because there are far more false breakouts around. And most traders want to trade breakouts. However, what they do is they make a fundamental error. They put their stops too close. There is a tremendous amount of volatility around breakout points now, or major levels, because you've got instant price action for everyone. And yesteryear, that wasn't true. Trends tended to be smoother. Today, they're not. They tend to be much more volatile. And if, you're, if you want to overcome the problem of false breakouts, um, the way to do it, in my view, and, and Dennis said this, is do not put your stop near where every other trader's got their, theirs. And that's normally tight right behind the breakout point. Give it a bit of room. So if it does come back, let the, the, the mass of traders get stopped out first. You very often see a market come back, test a breakout point, just go under the level or over the level, and then go back the way uh, it was going before but all the you know, traders at their stops too close were stopped out. You can also, um, when trading breakouts, you know, take partial profits if you get a big surge as well to protect you and then buy back in on the dip or on the next breakout up. And also you'd be very selective and only trade the really big levels. I think that's the way to overcome false breakouts. Now, you do only need a simple trading system to win at Forex trading that's never ever going to change. 
Um, you do need emotional discipline as well, but yeah, if you make the choice to be a disciplined trader, you can be. The, the thing I'll just conclude with in terms of strategy would be pay as much attention to your exit strategy as your entry strategy. Where you place your stop is far more critical, I think, than where you actually get in. Um, and many traders do not pay enough attention to where to put the stop, when to take profits, and generally do not understand the impact of volatility. You must actually yeah, understand its impact and be comfortable with it and where you place your stops. And always remember, never have your stop with the losing majority. I think Richard Dennis is um, yeah, well worth reading up on. You can read his interview in the book uh, Market Wizards. And I would also recommend you download the free Turtle Trading Rules. Um, it's a great story and you can see how a good trading system is constructed. So thank you for watching me. Take care. Have a good day.